There you go. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> How do kids do this? <laughs> Not three and a half year old. <laughs> hey, I got two superheroes. Yep. Yep. Who, who am I? Superhero. Superhero. <laughs> everybody hi we are here today to look for Easter stuff we need some food for Easter we need uh, eggs we need things to color with um, thank God we don't need to buy baskets or anything uh, because Easter Bunny will bring that so we're safe there wink wink um, but yeah we're here shopping for Easter it's gonna it's we're just having fun and uh, yeah, it's not so hectic because it's just a couple days away, so we're not last minute shopping. Hey Austin, what do you have there? Oh, instead of that, instead of that he's showing it's that. <laughs> you know, you have so many cars. I feel like you have every single Cars Cars toy. Every single one of them. Do you really need more? Go, Mama, go get more. Or, you you want to go to Walmart and get more? Get more, but in the top. Oh, on the top? That's where they are? No, they're on the other aisle. What? They're on the other aisle. Uh, I know, no one's so like this. You want to go right on that and go get a uh, get different one? Um, I think you have that one at home. That? All right, hop in there. Let's go. Hurry up. Get the engine started. Go vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. So I feel like Easter is like sneaking up on us. I can't believe it's just a couple of days away. And I can't believe that they syncs up with April Fool's Day this year. It's going to be so crazy. We're checking out the toy aisle. <laughs> Uh, one of the things that I thought was really cool, I just noticed here, the first time I actually seen them in person is the little fingerlings. They are so cute. I wish that they don't like work in the thing. I want to kind of see what they do in action, but. And I was just showing Nima this right here. Seems like this is like every girl's dream right now. This giant LOL doll, $70. Are you kidding me? I was like shocked when I saw that price. I was thinking like $10, $15, but you know, we don't have any girls. So we're kind of like not up on the whole girl thing right now. Look at Austin and Nima dancing. Oh, are you got you playing an instrument? I don't dance it. I think he's played his about the same amount that you've played yours, Nima. <laughs> I played it, you know. I play it. There you guys are. You guys are getting massage while I am cashing out everything. Yeah, we're we're living a good life here. <laughs> now, Austin, oh. can you can you show guys what you won all by yourself? Did you win something? Oh, <gasps> what's in there? What's in there? Nice. Nothing. Oh, come on, it's lost. <laughs> what was in there? A little tiny duck. It was so cute. <gasps> oh. I was gonna say there's nothing in there. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys got jipped. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, of course. There it goes. At least you waited till we, we paid. He's been wanting to open that for a long time. He just couldn't wait to open that. He's been asking over and over, can I open it? Can I open it? I'm like, no, did we pay for it yet? No. I'm like, okay, then no opening it, but. Oh, is, did you find it? Yeah, I oh, found it. It's so actually cute. pretty sketchy, duck. Look at it. It's only got one eyeball. <laughs> so cute, though. It's so little. <laughs> the G7X curse of no focus. Oh, well. One eye. Oh. Take my word for it. I believe him. Okay, time to go. Let's go, guys. 
Well, we had a great idea since we're up here in Vermont that we were gonna go to this nice little restaurant that we love that had the best prime rib. It's mm. so delicious. But it's been quite a few years and this is what it's looking like. I would say it's probably not in business anymore. Pretty sketchy actually. Yeah, let's get out of here. This is how a horror movie starts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's just go check it out. Let's just go in yeah, there. Let's, let's just go explore it. a little yeah. bit. <laughs> Little life update for you. This are our little baby chickens right here. They are not little babies anymore. I can't believe how fast they grew. They are huge. Look at these. They were just little chicks like two weeks ago. I feel like, I think it's been two weeks since we got them. But wow, they outgrew their original pen so fast. So I had to like build this like structure here for them just to give them more room. And they flap and make so much noise in a mess. Like I thought chickens were kind of just like, you know, kind of cluck around and just, you know, kind of like hang out and just kind of waddle around. But they are very high strung animals, like surprisingly, they're very active. They're always like doing stuff. So every single time, like every time I come out here, there's like chips and stuff all over the floor. So I had to put like some kind of saran wrap. I'm trying to build the cardboard up on the sides. It's crazy. It's funny though. They're kind of fun. They like, like to follow things. Whoa. Austin, you like the, you like the chickens? Yeah. Austin loves it. Here's mine right here. Can you guys spot mine? Mine's the dark one. Uh, Storm right there. It, um, they like to the peck though. I'm uh, like a little afraid to put my finger in there. Rusty. Your, yours is rusty. Rusty. Afraid to. Cruise. I th I thought yours was Cruz. Uh, Rusty's. No, Rusty is uh, is Aiden's. No, uh, uh, Austin Rusty <coughs> is this. So one thing we're not sure about with the chickens yet is if any of them are actually chickens or if they're roosters. So I don't even know how to tell you. I'm kind of hoping that they just like grow that little floppy thing on top. And <laughs> Is that what you're thinking too, Austin? I'm not really sure. I think we'll have to look into it a little bit, which ones are roosters. But we definitely don't need some roosters walking around the house. And if it's the first sign of a cockadoodle doo, the thing's out of here. <laughs> Austin, you're so funny. But no, seriously, yeah, we can't have a rooster. So that'll be so sad if one of us has to give up our chickens. We're kind of hoping they're all female and that we can keep them all. Whoa! Too high. Well, it's a relief to have all the shopping done for Easter, that's for sure. We got the food shopping done, we got everything else done. The Easter bunny takes care of the baskets, so we're good there. And I'm actually really looking forward to it. Sometimes I feel like I get more excited than the kids get excited for things. I know they're like excited, but I'm like, I'm like waiting for it. I can't wait for it to happen, especially when they're little. It's like just the best time. So I can't wait for that. Um, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Later.